In my previous video, I showed you how to create a bootable Linux USB with Windows. If you're a Mac user like me, you may be feeling left out. Don't worry, I got your back. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Linux install USB using Mac OS, so stick with me. I've got a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comment section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end uh, to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop. It's gonna follow a similar format to the Windows video. Oops, hold on a second, it is not breaking my face, there it goes. All right, so here we are. Um, we're going to need a few different things, uh, some tools to get going here. Now, the first thing, of course, we're going to need is a USB stick. Uh, you'll want to, you know, do probably minimum 8, 16, 32 gigabytes uh, stick. You're going to need an application called Etcher, uh, as well as a distribution ISO file. So the thing that I want to start with is going to be Etcher. Uh, it's by it's by an organization company or something like that called Molina. Um, it's a great tool for flashing uh, Linux ISOs onto USB sticks. So what you'll do is you'll go down, you'll go to the, uh, you'll go to this website here, and I'll put this down in the show notes down below. And what you'll do is you'll scroll down and you'll go down to the download section and it gives you uh, multiple different downloads. What we're looking for here is going to be the Etcher Mac OS. And then what you do is you'll just hit download. Now what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and uh, download it to your system. Let's let it do its thing. All right, and yes, we want to allow that. Perfect. All right, and we should have it downloaded. I, oh, I actually don't use Safari very often. Is, is this it? Yep, there we go. Okay, so we've got it downloaded here. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and go up here to the downloads and we'll double click on it. And then here it's gonna bring this up. And then what we'll do is we'll take the app and we're gonna just drag it over to the applications folder. Perfect. And there we go. We can actually see that that popped up here and it's already uh, ready to go inside the applications folder. So we don't need that. Let's close that. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go do a couple of things here that we need to make sure are going to be taken care of prior to proceeding with our flash. Now, we'll need to go ahead and go into privacy and security inside your settings. And what you'll do is you'll need to make sure you go down to this one right here, allow applications downloaded from and make sure you select app store and identify developers so that it'll allow you to go ahead and utilize this app because if you have app store only, it will not function properly. And then what we can do is we can just easily open the app. and give it just a second here. It does take a moment for it to actually pop up. Actually, let's try it a different way. There it goes, okay. Cool, yeah, and you can see there, it did take a minute for it to pop up. I was getting a little impatient there, so I was getting ready to jump ahead, but we've got it pulled up here. That's great. Now we need to do another thing, is we also need to go ahead and go into the disk utility, which is this right here on our Mac. And we're gonna to need to go ahead and make sure that this is in either FAT32 or is going to be in XFAT. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna go up to Erase. We're gonna select Erase, and here you can give it a title if you want. We're just gonna call it Kubuntu because that's the distribution we're gonna be using. And then what we'll do is we'll, the format, you'll wanna make sure that that format is selected uh, MS-DOS uh, FAT, which is the FAT32 standard. And then here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to, it's selected GUID uh, partition map, which is also known as GPT. And I've actually got a difference. You, you'll see a couple here, you'll see GUID partition map and master boot record. I've actually got a video on the difference between those two. If you're curious and wanna learn more about that, go check out that video. But we'll wanna make sure that GUID partition map is selected. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit erase. And then it's gonna do its thing. It usually is pretty quick. This is only a 32 gigabyte USB drive, so Shouldn't take too long, and there we go. It is now done. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of the disk utility. Now, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to go back and download um, a distribution. Now, the distribution that I recommend for folks, uh, especially when they're just getting into Linux, is Kubuntu. I know a lot of people recommend you know Ubuntu or maybe Fedora, but Ubuntu does a great job of 
of kind of easing you into the Linux uh, Linux world, especially if you're coming from Windows. Um, you know, it's got a similar layout. It's actually got tons of like customization abilities. So you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it, or you can just use it out of the box. And that's pretty much what I do is I, I use it directly out of the box. Um, I really like using it. It's it's lighter weight than, uh, than GNOME. And I just, for whatever reason, I always have trouble with Ubuntu and GNOME. I don't know what it is. Ubuntu is a great distribution, but it just, I always end, run, end up running into problems. Uh, with Ubuntu. So that's why I use Ubuntu. And then all you'll do is you'll just go down. Oops, I'm sorry. You'll go to download. And then you'll want to download the Kubuntu 22.04.2, which is their most current long-term um, support release. All right. And then all you'll do is you'll just hit the 64-bit download and it is, uh, it is downloaded. So perfect. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we're going to have to go back over here and we're going to go into Belina Etcher. We've already got it up here. We're going to go and select Flash from File. And I've already got it downloaded, by the way. That's why I didn't have to do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to go to this one right here because it's our Kubuntu ISO image. And an ISO image is just like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an install file. It, it's going to allow you to install an operating system. And then we'll, what we'll do is once we've selected our um, ISO image, we're going to go ahead and select our target, which in this particular case is this one right here. Just be careful if you have any other drives connected that you select the right one. Why is it? Oh, there it goes. Okay, there you go. And uh, it will tell you like if there's a large drive uh, attached to it as well. Um, so just make sure you're paying attention. I, like I, I've never nuked it in, in Etcher, but I've definitely nuked it in Rufus and that sucked. So try to make sure you don't do that. All right, and there we go. And then all you're gonna do is hit flash and it will take a few minutes to go ahead and actually take care uh, to get flashed and you have to put in your password. Perfect, and it's gonna flash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and I'm gonna let it do its thing and it'll come back once it is finished. All right, and it is done. So pretty easy, right? Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to flash a USB even on a Mac. Uh, check out this other video. Uh, check out the other videos in my getting, getting into Linux series if you haven't already. If you're caught up on that series, go ahead and check out this other video instead. Remember, mistakes make you better, so keep making them. Thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.